the Panthers should trade Cam Newton. Jalen, overreaction or not? I, I think it is an underreaction. I, I mm. think that it's just right. I feel like yep. the Panthers need to train Cam Newton. Yep. I feel like it's not there's nothing wrong with um the relationship but nothing at the same time. To Cam. Yeah, nothing yeah, it's nothing personal. Uh, I think Kyle Allen has proven he could be a quarterback. Um if he doesn't make it work, I feel like you still need to draft a quarterback or mm-hmm. sign another veteran quarterback. Either way, I feel like Cam Newton's time in um and Carolina is done. I feel like they need to kind of change up their offense. I feel like their offense is not built. I mean, it was built for Cam, and it's not working for Cam right now. And now, and so uh, I that think that they is need... where Kyle Allen can throw the ball when he needs to and get really good at handing off the ball to Christian McCaffrey. Yes, but I think that it's time to move on from them. I feel like they can get a lot of a uh, lot back for Cam. Yep, and still have Kyle. And still draft a quarterback if they want to, yep. or use it's a uh, deep the draft class this year too. They could get. A it's a pretty deep draft second. class as of yeah. It is, barring that there are no busts in this draft, is yep. a pretty great draft class for quarterbacks. Um, I think that they have a better chance of trading him and getting capital off of him yep. and getting that um nineteen point one million in cap space. Yes, if they get Rev Cam Newton's contract right now, they will free up nineteen point one million in cap space. Which is going to be big for Definitely. free agency, at least. Also, signing the they big for free agency. I think that that will help if they don't draft a running back. They could definitely sign a free agent running back to kind of have that one-two Ooh, punch Jaylen, with Christian McCaffrey. Jaylen, what about this? Cam Newton to the Chicago Bears for if you want to get a good back for Christian McCaffrey, you do Cam Newton to the Bears for Tyreek Cohen and draft capital. Wow. Mm. That I yeah. I think that works. That 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 Boom. would be amazing. I there feel like that, that deal works Heart, for both sides. Yeah, yep. Panthers call me up. I'm the new GM in this bitch. Hire me. <laughs> I don't even need to get but paid that think, much. Just give me like a couple million a year. I'll do my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the cap uh, for the cap space helps them in general. It's cap space they need to fill the holes that they have. Yep. And I feel like the trades uh, for draft picks will also help. Uh, fill holes that they have uh, more towards the side of they need youth on the team. Yep. It's like their receiving core is really young. I feel like they need to uh, it's get like a, a better mini re- receiver. It's like a mini-rebuild is what they need to do. Yeah, a mini-rebuild. Not a full of blown out rebuild where no. they're losing but they already have 12 pieces. games They just need to fill in a few more. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they need a veteran receiver, uh, which I feel like clearing up that space, I feel like they can probably get a receiver from the Bears if they wanted to, but I would probably wait till free agency yep. and use any new space that they get from uh, getting rid of Cam uh, on a veteran receiver, and then, you know, use the draft to get a couple more things. Exactly. So that is not an overreaction uh, from you, Jalen. Also, I agree. That is not an overreaction. That's what they need to do. Or, I guess... Can't really shame him more, can you? You guess you just gotta cut him, or wait till next year. Wait till the season's yeah, over. Okay. I think you can still trade him after the season. Um, he's still gonna have plenty of um, value because it's not going to diminish the rest of the year. It might actually increase it in terms of the Bears because their offense is just going to get worse. It's uh, and that's discussion for another second. Um, second um, statement is that Tom Brady is not the greatest system quarterback of all time. Because the new greatest <laughs> Man, system that's... quarterback of all time is Patrick Mahomes over an Andy Reid system. Jalen, what do you think on this one? <laughs> I think that's an overreaction. <laughs> sure. <laughs> he is the greatest system quarterback of all time. Uh, and I so see you say Patrick Mahomes is not a good there. quarterback? Well, you guys heard here first. Jalen says Patrick Mahomes is a bust. Patrick Holmes, I don't think, is a system quarterback. I think <laughs> with that much arm strength and mobility, he is just a good quarterback in general. Yes, he's hurt right now, but I feel like that shouldn't hurt his stock at all. Uh, I feel like he's a great quarterback in general. Uh, Tom Brady is still the greatest system quarterback of all time. I feel like him having battle. I feel like he he's not as sharp, obviously, as he used to be. Yep. I, I feel like he's still a pretty great system quarterback. Yep. Um. But, yeah, definitely overreaction. I think Tom Brady is still the greatest season <laughs> quarterback of all time. That's fair. I got this next thing. I got a uh, suggestion from one of my buddies uh, who is, of course, a Niners fan. 
And this statement mm. is that the NFC West is the best division in the league right now. Um, I'm just going to start this off. I'm saying that this is not an overaction. They are between BSF. I'm going to say that the NFC West actually produces three playoff teams with the Niners winning the division and with the Seahawks taking the first wild card spot and the Rams taking the second wild card spot. It's going to happen. Yeah, definitely. Um, I I think that is a, a very competitive division. As seen last week on Thursday, uh, they always come to compete against each other. The Cardinals, who everyone thought was going to get blown out, especially mm-hmm. after the Raiders. They're looking not, not Raiders. actually respectable <laughs> somewhat. Yeah, they, they put up a respectable game against the 49ers. Uh, and it's just every single time these teams play each other, amazing close games pretty much almost every time. Or yep. just like dominating, uh, dominating by teams uh, in this division. I think all the div- uh, teams in this division uh, pose a threat to any team at any time. Uh, I feel like even the Cardinals at this point, even if they don't win a lot of their games against top teams, mm-hmm. I feel like they they kind of put a scare on a lot of the top teams because of how unpredictable their offense and defense can be. I feel like they put a scare on most teams. Uh, the Rams have been not as good as expected this season, but they've still, but they're still been very dangerous. Yeah, Cooper Cup's had an amazing season. Yes, uh, definitely my choice for comeback player of the year at the moment. Ooh, that's a good. Um, call. Uh, and I just I think that they're uh, really good, uh, and I feel like since they haven't had as good a season as mm-hmm. everyone expected, they've kind of been deemed like a sneaky good I team think a little because under the radar if they right have now. a little, yeah, it's a little bit on the radar. I feel like a lot of teams just kind of don't. They're not really a team that everyone's like, oh my god, we have to play the Rams this week. They're still a top so ten. I feel like they're gonna, top ten team. Yeah, I think they're definitely a top ten league team. The Seahawks, obviously, with Russell Wilson having an MVP season, mm-hmm. very dominant. And, of course, the 49ers, who are undefeated right now, uh, barring um, they start losing <laughs> the rest of the season, yep. they'll definitely make playoffs as one of the top teams in the NFC, and they'll be dominant too. So I definitely think this is one of the toughest divisions to play in. So and one not overreactions? In... No, I don't think it's an overreaction. I think okay. it was just right. I'm going to roll with that too. Statement number four is that the Jets are the worst team in the league. Not the Bengals, not the Dolphins, not the Redskins, but the Jets. I'm going to go, not an no. overreaction. The Jets just look dog shit. Their, te- their defense sucks ass. Um, feel bad for Jamal Adams. Their offense is garbage. Even with Le'Veon, he's not doing anything. Sam Darnold still seeing ghosts. And Adam Gase is absolute fucking moron when it comes to running off um, an NFL team. And on the professional side of everything, <laughs> I believe that <laughs> the Jets are not the worst team in the league. I feel like they had a bad week. Uh, I feel like that the Dolphins are still the worst team in the league. Even after <laughs> I feel like the, even Dolphins the Dolphins are beating the Jets? I feel like the Dolphins beat the Jets, but I feel like the Dolphins are still the worst team in the league. Full I feel take. like it's a bad – in my opinion, I think it is a bad matchup for the Jets. I feel like the Dolphins are a bad matchup for the Jets based off of personnel and scheme. I feel like the Dolphins are faster than the Jets and overall can push the ball down the field where the Jets have weaknesses. Um so I definitely think it's just a bad matchup for the Jets. I think yep. overall, if you put them against pretty much anybody else in the league, the Dolphins are terrible. Uh, I think if you put the Jets against a couple of teams, there's a couple more games that I think the Jets would win that the Dolphins wouldn't. That's and fair. then obviously there's still the Bengals. Yeah, so you're uh, going to say that this is too. an overreaction? Yeah, I think it's an overreaction. I, I think I'd have to see more for the call than the worst mm-hmm. team in the league. But I think as of right now, I still would say it's between the Dolphins and the Bengals. All right. I'm going to go opposite with you. I'm going to say that this is not an overreaction. I believe uh, if the Bengals and the Jets matched up, I believe the Bengals are taking that game um, nine times out of ten. And mm-hmm. no, that, that's okay. just why I see I, I especially if they get A.J. Green back for a game like that, the – the offense is just in shambles um, with the Jets, and Sam Darnold can't do anything to. He can't do anything right right now. It's and also in quarterback news that Finley will be starting this week. Yep. For the um, and of course, we discussed that Andy Dalton was benched on his birthday, which I saw as a present because that means he didn't have to play on the doctor team, and he's still gonna get paid money. So I see that as a yeah. win. So I I think <laughs> that. That that might that might change it. We don't know. We don't might know if it's going to change for the hey, better we'll or worse. But I think it's definitely going to make a change. Allen. Yeah, yeah. So let's we'll see where it goes here. Um, and I just to close this one off, I'm gonna go with um our fifth statement, and that is that 
Mitch Trubisky is not the problem in Chicago. He's not the reason that the offense... He's not the sole reason that the offense is sucking. He's not the main reason either. And the real reason that the offense can't do a damn thing in Chicago is because Matt Nagy is a god-awful coach. And he has mm. successfully ruined Mr. Bisky. Mm. I don't know. I feel like he slightly is the problem. But I feel like he is fixable. I feel like he's made a couple of bad decisions on his part. Are you uh, talking about the uh, ball? Trubisky? Trubisky, yes. Yeah. I feel like it's fixable. I feel like he just needs to work on some mechanics. Yep. And I decision feel like making. he needs to be... De- yeah, decision-making also needs you to be fixed a little bit. You can still say Mr. Trubisky. Uh, like, yeah. So I, I definitely still think it's Mr. Trubisky uh, at this point. I do think Mr. Trubisky is a problem in Chicago. Yeah. Dude, uh, there's no I denying that. He, he's played making, like shit. Yeah, he, he's played like shit. Um, I think Matt Nagy has made a lot of bad play calls this year, but I feel like um, I, I feel like it's not 100% Nagy's fault because Matt Nagy is making pretty much, in my opinion, the same exact calls that he was making last season. And just I feel like this year, uh, Mr. Bisky just hasn't been able to perform and mm-hmm. do what is expected of him on a lot of those plays. Uh, and I feel like that's making Matt Nagy a little worse. I don't think Matt Nagy's like a top coach. I, I he's don't, far in from my it. opinion. He's not. He's but honestly, I, he's I the reason that the that... Bears aren't going. Ooh, yep, I'm going to say that. Matt Nagy is the reason. Yeah, quote me on this. I swear. I'm going to put this on Twitter. It's a little, little um, just thing I said. Matt Nagy is the reason that the Bears are not going to make the playoffs this season. Yes, I think it will come down to Matt Nagy because obviously coaching is going to be a big and deal. And the Bears, uh, uh, more takeaway, the Bears are making the playoffs this year. 